Hi, welcome to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are checking out how to play Riptide by Vance Joy. It's really fun and easy song to play on the guitar. And we are keeping it simple and you're not using any capo for this one. I think to match the key with the original track, you gotta put it on the first fret. But we are just keeping it simple, not using any capo. Now it's played on a ukulele, so you can use the same chords on a higher pitch. And it sounds pretty nice as well, using just four strings, the four down strings. And um, yeah, we're gonna look at all those different things that you can do with this song and it's a few different strumming patterns that are happening in the song. Let's get into it. This also follows for the pre-chorus of And then it changes the strumming pattern for the chorus. So what we're doing is we're having an A minor chord. First finger first fret on the B string and these two fingers on the second fret of the fourth and third strings. Then you move to G chord. You can play it this way. Um, third fret over here, second fret on the fifth string, and third fret and third fret on the bottom two strings. You can also use it this way or this way, however you like it. This is easier to, you know, transition. So you can use this one also. I'm using this one, and then you gotta use a C major, proper C major chord. You have your first fret on the second string, second fret on the fourth string, third fret on the fifth string. All right. Now you do A major once, G major once, and C major twice. So it goes like this. The strumming pattern will go like this. Down, down, up, down, down. Alright, down, down, up, down, up. Pretty simple. So the first down stroke is on the upper strings. Then the second down stroke is on all of the strings. Go to the lower strings as well. So and then up, down, up, starting from the lower strings. So you know? Go to G major. Down, down, up, down, up. Go to C major for twice the amount of time. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Alright? So you have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up again. This is the intro two times, and then you start singing on the same chord. So Now same thing for the pre-chorus as well. Oh. Okay, and then next time again, oh, and they come on strong. So here on C major, you just strum it once. Let it ring, you know, don't mute it, just let it ring. So the second time will be the pre chorus sounds like this, oh, and again. to the chorus of the song. So pretty easy, right? The chorus sounds like this. Change is only in the strumming pattern for the chorus. The strumming pattern goes like this. Down, up, up, down, up. Alright? So one and two and three and four. All 
right down all the way and up up on these strings and then down now so you want the total of the complete rhythm so you want the lower strings as well so down up up down up go to G chord one and two and three and four and go to C chord down up down up up down up again down up up down up so down up up down up 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 and that is what you have for the chorus down up up down up down up up down up down up a minor G C chord a minor down up up down up down up up down up down up up down up now go to the second verse of the song and use the same strumming pattern that we used in the first verse For the second pre chorus, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and they come unstuck, and then go to the second chorus again, lady, running down to the bed. And then you go to the bridge of the song. The bridge is really interesting now. We get to this little um, riff over here. So the bridge sounds like this. I'm going to start from the very ending of the second chorus. Now the bridge comes. Chorus again. So what we're doing over here is we're doing this little riff over here, just after the ending of the second chorus. What you want to do is you want to do a hammer on from open to the second fret on the fourth string. All right. Then you want to hit the second fret again on the fourth string. So then you hit the third string open. So all right. And then, so you hit the third fret of the fifth string, and then the second fret of the fourth string again. So you get, and it's just repeated four times. go to the bridge which are the actual now the lyrics and here you know you can use the same strumming now the strumming is a little different on the song but just a little but I just want to keep the song a very simple and straightforward so I'm just going to show you the same strumming pattern which some of fits, fits perfectly fine for the bridge as well we're using the same strumming pattern as our chorus okay the difference is that now you have a minor for twice the amount of time and all the chords for twice the amount of time instead of going just like the chorus was down up up down up you know you change it to the G chord for the bridge you have down up up down up again down up up down up so you go down up up down up down up up down up G chord down up up down up down up up down up C major down up up down up down up up down up and then you want to go to F chord now there's a, there are a lot of ways to play the F chord to make it simple, what you can do is play like in, you know, F major 7, your first fret on the B string, second fret on um, the second, third string, and your third fret on the fourth string, and you can actually also have the first fret on the first string, have a little bar over here, 
or just play the proper F chord like this. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. So you go down, up, up, down, up, 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 C chord. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. F chord. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. Next time again, A minor. I just gotta, I just gotta know. I can have it, I can have it. And then on F major, you just strum down once. Any other way. Okay? And then you go to all the chords strum just once. Okay? I swear, shame, destiny for the screen. Okay? So A minor strum once. All the, all the strings. Let it ring. G and C. Then once again. Closest thing to my shelf Pfeiffer that you've ever seen. Okay, so the whole um, bridge. Sorry. to measure five for that you've ever seen now go to the chorus the same strumming pattern but for the next chorus you just want to be really light on the strumming okay so you've got to be like you don't have to force yourself go too hard we're going to do that on the next chorus and the final chorus but for the chorus that comes just after the bridge you want to go very really light okay use the same strumming pattern but don't go too hard so Turn to the red Taken away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand I love you See me all done I don't know when my throat goes My sound was wrong And then you can go hot Oh lady Taken away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand And then you do this one more time For the very ending of the chorus Again, I got a lump in my throat cause you're gonna sing about it's wrong. You end with the C chord. Alright? So yeah, that is it for the song Rip Tide by Vance Choi. I hope you like this tutorial. And um, it's a really good song, really fun to play. And uh, hopefully you learned uh, something out of it. And if you did like it, then make sure to hit that, that uh, thumbs up button. And I really appreciate all of your support. And subscribe to my channel for more easy guitar lessons. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye.